Hey everybody, one that always bored, never boring. You may know that recently I acquired a copy of Advanced Space Crusade and you will find a video on my channel unboxing that game and taking a look at all of the components and also ways to expand it. Because one of the great things about Advanced Space Crusade is that it was very expandable. There was a lot of other things you could buy for it to add in and make your game more epic. As a result of that, I started looking around on eBay to pick up some Gene Stealer hybrids. And of course, I wanted some period accurate rogue trader models. And I started picking up some of the old plastic hybrids, which I really, really like. And while I only originally intended to pick up a few, it has turned into a little bit of an obsession. And I now have 17 hybrids. And I also picked up some of the old Rogue Trader era Gene Stealers. Furthermore, in a recent lot, I purchased one of the old Gene Stealer Colt Magus models and also the awesome Patriarch. So I thought it would be fun in this video to take a quick look at the original Patriarch miniature and then see how it compares to the most recent Patriarch miniature. And we'll take a little look at the Magus as well. So during the Rogue Trader era, there were two Patriarch miniatures that I am aware of, and I believe they both came out in 1989. They may have come out at exactly the same time, or they may have been a couple of months apart, but the first that I am aware of is this gloriously disgusting Gene Stealer Patriarch sat in his throne. This is a really interesting miniature and really in keeping with the lore of the time where the Patriarchs would become more obese and sedentary as they gained their psychic powers. But not necessarily the best miniature for gaming, especially if you wanted a Patriarch that could move about and get involved in the action. Fortunately, there was a second Patriarch miniature which was more action focused and that's the miniature I have recently acquired. And here he is, what a glorious chunk of metal he is. As I mentioned, I believe he also came out in 1989, and you can see he is much more action focused. He is lunging to attack, and this is a really nice miniature. I absolutely love this. There's something about the face, the pose, everything else. Um, Gene Stealer hybrids from the Rogue Trader era have a very schlocky B movie look. The combination of their 60s style astronaut suits and their rubber mask type faces makes them look a little bit like something out of a classic episode of Doctor Who or something. The Gene Stealer Patriarch is a little bit different in that it seems more like something out of a horror film. The design of the miniature reminds me very much of the kind of creatures you would see in films like From Beyond, Kindred and Society. Real body horror type stuff. As you can see there is some green stuff on my miniature. This miniature was broken, the front foot was snapped off and in order to make it so that he was sort of standing upright and in a decent pose, I added a scenic element to the front and that scenic element is hiding a pin which goes through the front leg. Uh, there is another pin going through the back leg and then I have used some green stuff in order to make up the claw at the front and then hide the area where I had to cut away some of the scenic element for the pin to go. You can see on the bottom here the two pins that are going through the base. That has made it a very sturdy fit, which is pretty much essential for something which is so heavy. There is a lot of metal in this miniature. But that was 1989. Fast forward to 2016 and Games Workshop released the boxed game Death Watch Overkill, which had new Gene Stealer cultists in it and a new Patriarch. And look at this thing. It is a completely different design. There is very little similarities between what we have now and what we had then. This is a really interesting design. I love the pose of this Patriarch because he is standing so that his body forms the shape of the Gene Stealer cult insignia, which you can see hanging on some of the Maguses and things like that. He looks suitably intimidating, suitably threatening. However, to me, not as scary as the original Patriarch. There's something about that old design, something that brings to mind those old horror films that I used to watch when I was a child. This one, it just looks much more like a bug. It's an alien. Whereas the old Patriarch was something else. It was some kind of fusion of human and alien, something gross, some type of body horror beast. So they're both cool in their different ways, but I definitely prefer that original style. It is also interesting to note, there is just a slight difference in the scale. Our original Patriarch, whilst he is a good sized model, is nothing compared to the new Patriarch. This Patriarch is massive. This is of course mainly down to Games Workshop's scale creep over the years. Their models have got larger and larger and larger, but this Patriarch is absolutely huge. 
But sometimes the more things change, the more things stay the same. And I thought it would be interesting to end this video by taking a look at an old 1989 Magus versus the 2016 Magus. There have been far fewer changes between these two miniatures. This isn't the only Magus that came out for the Rogue Trader era. There was actually a whole bunch of them, but this is the one I have in my collection. And it's a really cool miniature. I really like the staff, which has the Gene Stealer icon here with his little fat tummy. It makes me smile, but it's a really nice miniature, really good detail, and of course in metal. And then once again we fast forward to 2016 to our Death Watch Overkill release and we have our brand new Magus. He is clearly much more dynamic than his earlier counterpart, but you can see a lot of similarities. He has the same type of staff, he has a more intricate Gene Stealer icon at the top, it's less funny than the original but there are a lot of similarities in the clothing he has the same type of design on the front with the jewel he has the same type of cape with the same type of cowl and if you look at the ribbons on the front of the miniature there you can see the little gene stealer icons which mirror the pose of that patriarch model we've already looked at so yes while this model is much more dynamic it's very very similar although once again that games workshop scale creep comes into play and we can see that our new Magus is huge in comparison to the original. Still, it's interesting to see how different the new Patriarch looks whilst the newest Magus has so many little nods and hints to those original design aesthetics. And there we have it, something old, something newish. When Games Workshop brought back the Gene Stealer Colts, I really liked the models, I really enjoyed them, I thought they were great. But I have noticed that there is a certain shift in the aesthetic of them. They're now much cooler, everything looks cool. Whereas the original older Gene Stealer Colt stuff, it looked a little bit awkward, it looked a little bit ungainly. Those plastic hybrids in particular, they look uncomfortable in their own skin. And I thought that was a really interesting aspect to their designs. And it makes them seem just that little bit more alien and awkward and upsetting, which to me fits much better with the theme of them. So I really do enjoy those old Rogue Trader era miniatures and I do prefer them to the newer ones. Although of course the new ones are fantastic and I understand that there will be a lot of people who will think I'm crazy for preferring those older models. I mean really they're all excellent but for slightly different reasons. But why not let me know in the comments which you prefer because that's it from me for now. Thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, please consider pressing the like button. If you really enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing if you don't already do so. And hopefully, I will see you all again very soon. Bye bye everyone. Bye bye.